All right, hey, Chipola Nation, we're here with Coach Greg Franklin of the Lady Indians to talk a little women's basketball. How you doing, Coach? Good, Dr. Brian Craven. How are you today? All right, all right. Well, man, um, things are going well. Undefeated in the conference? Undefeated in the conference right now. Right, exactly. <laughs> There's always tomorrow night. There's always the next day. That's right. So, um, but yeah, we're very proud of y'all, and y'all moved up to number two in the, in the state poll. Where are we in the Massey rating right now? Fourth. Fourth, okay. That's Third good. in the NJCAA poll. Man, fantastic. And uh, Gulf Coast is ahead of us in the state poll. Are they also ahead of us in the in the Massey and the yes. national poll? Okay. So they're number one okay. in both of those. In both of those. So um, They're undefeated. If we... Um, if we were able to to pull off the win uh, on Wednesday, what's that date? The is that the eleventh, or is that no? That's the fifteenth, yes. right? The fifteenth. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's the fifteenth. If we were able to pull off that win, we might occupy the number one spot. We will see. Okay. All right. You never know. You never know. You never know. So, um, how's everybody doing? How are the players? Players are good. I mean, we're healthy right now. Knock on wood. <clears throat> and that's always a, a plus plus uh -huh. this time of the year because, you know, the wear and tear of what's getting ready to happen, the gauntlet mm -hmm. yeah. uh, with these 12 ball games, which will pass three of them now, uh, usually wears and tears on those bodies. And yeah. if you can stay healthy, you, you're probably going to be in the game. Right, right. You know, but uh, that's a large task. That's right. Well, let's go back a couple of games. Uh, tell us what happened Saturday night. Saturday night, we pulled off a good one at Pensacola. Uh -huh. uh, came out hot in the first quarter, built us a lead of 13 points and kind of held on to it. We got up by, by 22 at one point. Uh -huh. Kids were playing well, but, you know, as young players and new to the game and new to our system, it was a dip there and right. uh, dip again and uh -huh. dip again. Uh, we played in spurts, and I thought that, you know, at times we looked really, really good, and at times we looked really, really bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's to be expected. Right. Uh, we just need to have more times where we look really, really good than bad yeah, yeah. Uh, come tomorrow night. And, you know, it's interesting. Uh, everybody loves to watch the UConn coach, and, you know, they won every game for I don't know how many years. And it's interesting. They can be beating someone by 40 points, and exactly. he's still he's still intense, and he's still yelling at them. And I, I guess sometimes it is hard for, for young people with a 22-point lead to do the things that they're supposed to do. Never a truer statement. Yeah. Uh, it's a, that's exactly what we preached after the game. You know, we're not playing the other team at that point. Right. We're playing ourselves. Uh-huh. Uh, and to and play. you're establishing habits for the rest of the Absolutely. season in games that are going to be very close. You want to take my team on? Yeah, I, I, got, I got it, man. I got it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just saying that that's exactly to that point. That's exactly what we talked about right after the game. Several games. Uh-huh. You know, we're – we play and we get a big lead and then we relax. Yeah. And then you miss a, miss a person on a cut defensively. Yeah. Then right. you run the wrong route offensively because uh -huh. your mind's not there. But those are habits you're building that aren't good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to relax. But that's to be expected with a lot of freshmen. Yeah. Uh, you know, our sophomores, we have one returning starter. Uh -huh. And then obviously Ariel Cummings, she, she starts for us this year. Um, but to have that leader right now, we, we don't necessarily have that vocal leader other than myself. Uh -huh. I have to come in and be a jerk a lot of times because, yeah. you know, I don't have that somebody that's an extension of me saying, okay, look here, let's, yeah. let's wake it up, let's do the right things. Right. So I have to be a jerk 99.9% yeah. .9 of the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's your job. <laughs> yeah. So And then let's back it up. Uh, to Wednesday, January 8th, uh, Northwest Florida State mm -hmm. came in here uh, to the Milt, and we had a good, a good house, good yeah. crowd, and, and what happened in that game? You know, I, I thought that – here's, here's the thing. I looked at the stat sheet after the game, and in the first two ball games, we shot 20, 23 and 24%. Good gracious. And almost won by double figures in both of them. Missed 10 free throws in both games. Uh, and we still win by almost double figures. And I'm thinking this – and then we go to Pensacola, we shoot 42, 43% from the field. Um, but what I'm getting to is a credit to our defense. Uh -huh. Defensively, we've been very, very sound, you know, uh, you know, almost the whole game, except for those when we have a little low, we yeah. get up. Yeah. Uh, so this young team has, has fostered an identity on defense that says, you know, at times we're not going to let you score. Uh -huh. We're going to make you turn it over. Yeah. We may go down and miss a layup. Yeah. We're still going to turn around 
turn you over again. Right. Uh, and that's pleasing to me to know that, you know, we don't have to shoot it very, very, very good uh -huh. uh, to win ball games, but we do have really, really good shooters. Yeah. It's just, I think we're all a little hopped up first couple of conference games and a little worried and a little nervous. Yeah. Inhibitions were high. Uh huh. Uh, so we missed some easy ones. Uh huh. 22 percent is pretty low. 23, 24 percent. That's very, very <laughs> low. And then you miss almost 10 free throws both those yeah. games and you still win. Man. You're thinking, okay, yeah. we could just put the ball in a hole. Just yeah. a little bit. And we're not talking about tough shots. We're talking about layups. A lot of right. those are layups right yeah. now. But I think that has a lot to do yeah. with just being brand new to to the competition and the league and yeah. everybody hypes it up so much you're getting into conference play oh well you did play those other 15 ball games what are you going to do now yeah you know yeah. Uh, no matter if you played a couple of top 10 top five teams uh -huh. but our kids are getting through it yeah they are that's great so we got uh we got rooney scoville and the lady commodores coming in here wednesday january 15th with a 5 30 tip and then where do we go saturday we're off we're off okay have a bye week and then we go northwest next next wednesday uh -huh. um, you know, so we we definitely needed the bye week to get some things ironed out. Yeah. Uh, get some confidence back that's been shattered a little bit the first three yeah. three ball games in the league. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, I think our team will be fine. Right. You know, it's going to be a test for us tomorrow night, uh, which is which is good. I mean, uh -huh. we play them two more times after tomorrow night, so it's not the end all. Right, right. Uh, but, you know, I, I think our teams usually play really well over at Gulf Coast, uh -huh. too, every year. Yeah. Um, but I think our kids are really, really excited about tomorrow night. Yeah. I see it in their faces. I saw it in the, in the effort in practice. I know that we say we need to have the same type of effort every single day. Well, we're dealing with human nature. Oh, yeah. It's not going to happen. It's I not. I can push and it's push not. and push and push, which I do. Uh -huh. I, I kind of like being the jerk. But yeah. I push and push. And, you know, the same type of effort doesn't come out every day. But yesterday was pretty focused. That's good. Um, you know, we're bouncing around. Knocking each other down uh -huh. and not complaining, so that's a good thing. Right, right. Know. And then um, on the 25th, who do we have for homecoming? Is that Tallahassee? Go ahead and look that. Okay, I think I think it is Tallahassee for homecoming, and that's always a fantastic night. I mean, oh yeah. Lord, we we have to turn people away. So get there at 5:30, people, if you want to get in the gym yeah. because the milk will be it will it'll be. be hopping. So, well, coach, we're uh, very proud of y'all, and we wish you the best with. Uh, with Gulf Coast on Wednesday night, and we're we're proud of where we are right now in the conference and and in the all the standings. I appreciate you, Dr. Brian. All right, thanks, man. All right, brother.